which crap I left outside the plane so uh, I'll be right back hello again well I am inside the back portion of the airplane called we call it the tunnel um, it's not easy getting back here um, basically squeezing in through this D hole ELT antenna in the way and I'm having to kind of put all my weight on my lower torso and not put much on my hands over here because um, right now you see this pipe I'm hovering over the uh, push tube for the tailplane and this is, this controls pitch from the from the control sticks up front and I've been working on mod 70 which is this part here with uh, these phenolic boards so I'm at a point where I can install the last one which crap I left outside the plane so uh, I'll be right back Alright, while well, I'm outside of the plane getting that phenolic board, I'll talk about this portion of the video. This was recorded the previous day, and what I'm doing here is I'm match drilling the phenolic board to the support structure. I'm using the long drill bit that you see uh, to kind of match drill from the other side so I know it's the proper height. Uh, I'm also using it to hold the mass balance weight out of the way so I can get to the other holes. I'm also using a specialized 90 degree uh, attachment for the drill which allows me to get into a tight spot to start that hole. I'm also following up with a number 10 bit uh, that's kind of tapered that allows me to finish drill it uh, to relieve the space that I need for the screws. I hate it when I forget something after I get back here. Anyway, uh, the phenolic boards, you remember these? So I've got to install this and <laughs> this, it's not easy because basically I got to support my body weight with nothing but back strength. So anyway, I'll probably speed this up. So you don't have to watch me grunt and have a fun time in here. Anyway, pre-marked these up and whatnot, so this should go fairly quickly. And you can see the holes here, right? Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> so, here we go. So I've contemplated taking this out several times <laughs> and I kept being stubborn about it and just getting in here and doing it. And every time I get in here, I think, oh, I should have taken it out. Anyway, I'm having to use a quarter inch socket and a quarter inch wrench with a uh, Phillips head bit shoved in there. There's a little duct tape on there to hold it in because this gap is too small to get any useful tool in there <laughs> so you got to kind of improvise i was running into a problem drilling these holes and good friend rusty hood at ea chapter um let me use a 90 degree angle drill so i was able to get into that small space and clear that hole anyway on to the next one
All right, those are in and I'm tired. <laughs> well, that should wrap it up. I got the phenolic boards in there. Um, there's some things that I still have to do at final assembly for the Mod 70 to be complete. And those are those weight balance arms or weights have to be uh, adjusted to balance out the final painted weight of the tailplane. Once that's done, then I'll be able to know the correct distance uh, for the retaining straps to keep it from truly wobbling uh, back and forth. So, not complete, but complete for now. Um, and we'll be finishing up, hopefully, the, the back area is done for the most part, except for the electrical installation, um, which is uh, later on down the road. But as you can see, I'm sitting in the plane where the pilot would sit, and there's the tunnel back there where we had to crawl back and worked on those those two vertical pieces. And uh, but yeah, a little cozy. This is the co-pilot seat here and whatnot, so a little bit of room. Anyway, well, I'm gonna wrap it up and turn off this camera so I can play airplane. <laughs>